Hello Pisarians, welcome to your horoscope for October 2021. Um, let's get to the chart. Okay. So for the most of the month, Mercury will be in retrograde. Um, it will be in retrograde for the 19th of the month in your 8th house, the house of money. Globally, this is going to affect um, the court systems, laws, um, the health issues, so the thing in the arm, um, the other thing that to do with that thing in the arm, relationships as well, justice. So all those things are going to come up in these three weeks. On the 8th of the month, you've got Venus going to your 10th house, so, ten, so career, so it's going to be quite good for career. Um, you might get a pay rise, you might get some more opportunities coming in that way, in that area of your life. Then on the 31st, the end of the month, you've got Mars going into your 9th. So it will be in the 8th house majority of the month so that can indicate um like again it could be good with money but it also can be um some frustration there with income or money as well savings and finance doing like financial things now i'm gonna look at the cards for you pisarians um look i do think that things are starting to clear up for you you are seeking new knowledge and a new height um like sorry new heights of where you're wanting to to go to and move as well it's like the you know, coldness is like the, you know, the cold, the ice in the pictures and dry up. So I do feel like the warmer weather. So therefore, to me, it's like things are starting to warm up for you, um, going into a better direction for you guys. It's also going to be a month of having fun. Um, there, there will be a bit of emotion that clashing coming up, but ultimately it will be about having, having fun um, as well. And... You know, I, I feel like you're going to go for a big transformation this month too, where um, you're going to just jump leaps and bounds by the end of it. That's going to give you some like inner strength, but um, a little grace. It's a little grace. Now, when I go to your earnings, let me go to your tenth house. Tenth house. Okay. Um. Look, do you have finance you or, or financial like savings and, and other um, financial possibilities? You are planting the seeds and there is a change of where you're going to be looking at financially putting your money and, and the stability. So do see that more growing up for you. Um, it also in terms of your earnings and work, it is about standing in your power as well um, and your belief system too. I, I do feel like to do work, you know, you, you are... Possibly of, of climbing the ladder there for you this month um, as well, or, or seeking new new authority or new heights or more work, more obligations been putting on you as well this month. And it's also about trusting that you can do it and going further in your career um, this month. Possibly a change, but I feel like more about promotion could be on the cards for this month for you. When I look um, spiritually. Again, you're looking at spiritual growth also coming into as well, but also planning. I feel like the the, the planning of the seeds here may be like saying savings in that could also to do with your travel, um, like planning travel where you're going to go. So I do feel like you could be starting to save up for some sort of travel that, that you are wanting to do coming up. Um, let me look at relationships for you. I just feel like trust is the key for you with relationships. Um it's like you're very you you're going to feel very independent this month but there there is a thing about trust you know i do feel like there could be someone around you um in terms of love that's either like a, a leo or they're like a leo so you're looking for someone who has a big heart a bit of an ego about them because the sun sort of revolves around this person um it's also I just feel like the thing about trusting this person all about trust it's also um, there's a, a thing about peace coming into with relationships for you this month too, um, and you are going to you know more height. So perhaps you're going to be meeting someone like that. Um, it's also about this hidden strength. You also some of you might be feeling like it's like your crown's been knocked, knocked off your head a little bit, but there is new growth there with the relationship. So I feel like there are new possibilities, new things coming in your way. Now with friends, I do feel like it's a time um, I get like social, having fun with friends, um, getting outdoors. So I do feel positive coming up with you with friendships. In terms of 
down here. With family, um, there is a bit of a clashing going on with family around you, a bit of emotional stuff, but it is also about knowing, like, protecting yourself, your energy, protecting where you are. It's like um, your family don't really want to be close to you, and this month they really want you around them. Um, it's also, I feel like, even like siblings, they want you to be around them more. Um, it's like guiding them, helping them through any situations that are coming up with you as well you might, you might even be planning some sort of family getaway too it will be coming up in the cards for you guys um so i'm gonna say don't be sidetracked this month i feel like possibly if there's some sidetrack going on you really need to say focus on what you want and where you're going this month for you guys for the Pisarians. um but that and you knowing that you know like your wishes there's gonna be a lot of emotion that like clashing with sort of more at the home and family i really feel like it's coming in for this month for you Pisarians, okay. Pisarians, do not neglect opportunities, opportunities that are coming in front of you. When things need to be signed, make sure you sign them. Make sure your dots are dotted and your T's are crossed. At the end of the month, there will be opportunities that come up, but you will have to put this into practice. It is now time to stop sitting around by giving your feet, start moving. You're a star sign that can contemplate and not get movement. You like to sit around and have fun. And, you know, you worry a lot as well and the spiritual aspects that are coming in. You're very intuitive, but it's now starting to use that intuition to your advance and actually going forward. You can be a strong star sign if you want to. Instead of turning away from the world and wanting to come, to come out more, you need to come out more, Pisarians, and explore the world and opportunities that are there now. So thank you for liking, subscribing and sharing. I am doing lives, so I'm doing um, alternate from Saturday night 8 p.m. Sydney time to 1 p.m. Sunday. Um, if you wish to contact me for a private reading, you can do so by my socials. Um, and I'm still in lockdown myself. I'm hoping that by next horoscope I can get some sort of like haircut. Um, so now my fringe is going in my eyes. Anyways, thank you for liking, sharing, and your and your comments and I will see you for November's horoscope so bye for now